my name is Nissan Or, the library assistant. Today, I would like to recommend some books with only picture in them but no words. The reader can use a picture to tell the story as a guideline for their endless imagination. Okay, so first book I like is this one, Maolo. It contains a few words to help begin the story. It's about a dog that goes on an adventure in his bathtub. So the story begins by... Um, yeah. The owner telling Maolo that he is a mess. So he, so Malo need a bath. He went into the bathtub, and then his adventure begin. No words, only pictures. Another one that I like is this one, The Flower Man. Okay, this book claims that there are over 60 stories to be discovered. Within this wordlet word page are stories to be discovered. Use your keen eye to see which needed to be seen and use your heart to discover the message that is waiting just for you. So one of the stories that I see is uh, a man here, a man who come into town he decide to buy a house this one. then he began to plant some flower and then every day he would give flower to his neighbor so the town become more lively hey, <laughs> hey but you can uh, use your own imagination then to tell a different story. Okay, the third one that I like is Little Fox in the Forest. So this one is about um, a girl who bought her favorite stuffed animal to school. And then, as a girl, yeah. Uh, a fox came, like a real fox came and steal it from her. So she went after the fox to get her stuffed animal back. So along the way, she tried to ask different animal if they see the fox came by. Yeah, and I won't spell the I won't spoil the end, but it just contains a beautiful picture like this. Okay. Another one is fox in the garden. Alright, so the story begins with a fox looking for a warm place to stay. Uh, then a young boy came visit the fox and give him some food. So the fox in return brought him flower. So it's a really short but lovely story. Okay, last but not least is um, Farah and the Flamingo. It's about a girl who danced with the flamingo. I like this one because it reminds me of the childhood because uh, when I was young, I took ballet before and so the dance move in the books kind of remind me of my childhood. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps some of you find a book that you can use to create your own story. Okay, enjoy!